Well, we often don't ever think about our thyroid until something goes wrong. But the fact is that thyroid disorders are very, very common. As many as 20 million Americans suffer with thyroid disease, and one out of every eight women are expected to develop a thyroid condition in their lifetime. So what does the thyroid do, and how do we treat those disorders? Dr. Palumbo is here to share a little light for us. And it's amazing because the, the signs and symptoms can be so different, one end of the spectrum to the other. What should we be looking for? They really can be very different. I've got very thin people with hypothyroidism and uh, heavier people with hyperthyroidism. And typically with hypothyroidism, you have a slowing down of the metabolism. So typically you'll gain weight, you'll be sluggish, fatigued. Uh, you may start to lose hair, have thinning of the eyebrows, dry, thicker skin, and things like that. Okay. Uh, those would be your typical signs. And that would be the most common one of the two would be hypothyroid. And that's when you've got too little. That's correct. Okay, then the other end of the spectrum is not so good either. Right, hyperthyroidism typically will cause uh, anxiety, nervousness, tremor, sweating, palpitations, uh, weight loss, and things like that. And while some of those might sound good to people, it, you know, it can be it can be a, a health problem. Yeah, and I've actually had that problem myself. I had to have my thyroid removed, but uh, all those things really can take a toll on your health because it affects your heart as well. It does. It does. So it really does add up. It's amazing the number of um, can, parts of the body that the thyroid kind of controls and and has a part in in how it works. Right. And it it can be everything from your heart to to your skin. Everything in your body uh, is, you know, thyroid controls your metabolism of the cell, and their cells, every cell has a metabolism. So the thyroid is uh, crucial to the functioning of every cell in our bodies, uh, from our from our nerves to our hormones to our, uh, you know, heart muscle to our skeletal muscle. Uh, it, it really, uh, it has a, it plays a big role in how we function during the day. All right, so if you're feeling on one end or the other, whether you're um, hyper and jittery or you're feeling sluggish and you got the weight gain, you should ask your doctor about it because it's not something that they're always going to be looking for. Correct. Uh, some people will do a TSH uh, lab on a yearly exam, but not all people do. And TSH labs are notoriously kind of funny sometimes. Uh, typically, if I find someone with symptoms that I think may be arising from thyroid issues, I'll get more labs than just that. I want to see what their actual hormone levels are looking like. So you got to dig a little bit deeper. I like to dig a little deeper. All right. For um, many people with thyroid disorders, either um, for sometimes it's a surgery, sometimes it's a, a, another procedure that can be done to eliminate it, or you take medication. Are there alternatives now to some of those um, processes? There are. The mainstream is to take Synthroid. Uh, that's typically, it's a synthetic uh, analog of thyroid hormone. I, I do tend to lean towards the natural thyroids like Nature Throid and Armour Thyroid, which come from, from pig, pork thyroid. And um, I tend to like those better because they're already pre-balanced for us. But I do use both. Uh, one thing to also remember is some people have trouble absorbing their thyroid medicine. And so they're on these high doses and getting no results. You can get creams made that will help it absorb through the skin for those people. So that's another alternative that would be very interesting to some people. And once you're diagnosed with a thyroid disorder and you started treating it, it's important to keep on top of it because things change over time. As your body is changing, sometimes I guess you have changes everywhere, including your thyroid. Right. Uh, they really do change. And one of the most common autoimmune diseases is Hashimoto's disease. It's very common. It affects the thyroid. and it. If you have it, your thyroid hormones will go up and down and up and down, and your doctor has to kind of chase it. It's difficult, uh, but a lot of people have it, and you should be checked for it if you have hypothyroidism. All right, so when should we talk to our doctor, and what should we tell them? What should we be asking for? Anytime you're having fatigue, anytime you're not feeling right, and you feel it has to do with your energy levels, or you're gaining weight that you're not trying to gain and you're trying, or you're trying to lose and it's not coming off, you want to get those levels checked out. All right. Well, you can always call uh, Dr. Palumbo's office. You see that we have the number on the screen, I think, or you can call Lake Area Medical Center to find out more and make that appointment if you're having those issues and see exactly where you stand and what can be done about it. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Well, up next, practice makes perfect, and that goes for sp public speaking as well. See, I screwed up saying public speaking. <laughs> How to sharpen your skills after the break.